everyone, it's Crystal from Essentially Tarot. Welcome back to my channel. Um, it's kind of a gray, miserable day, so I'm doing the best I can with lighting right now, so bear with me. Um, we are back for another unboxing and walkthrough. I know, I know, it's out of control. I swear my next video is gonna be something different. I keep saying that, but I keep putting it off. <laughs> but anyway, today we are going to be unboxing the True Heart Intuitive Tarot by Rachel True. Um, this actually, is it supposed to be released until tomorrow, October 13th? Um, but if you um, scout around, you can actually get copies of this early, apparently, because I picked this up at my local Barnes & Noble yesterday. They already had it out. Um, so let me go ahead and remove the plastic wrap, and we'll get her unboxed. Okay, so here we have it. The plastic wrap is off. Here is our box. Um, and let's crack into it. So it does not have a magnetic closure. It's just kind of like a, a giant tuck box, if you will. Um, here is our book. And let's take a, a look. It has the nice like magazine finished paper, like the glossy paper. So here we're looking at judgment. We have high vibe and low vibe, which is a cute way to put it. Um, ooh, you get a significant amount of, sorry, I'm trying to keep it in frame, of information. This is all just for the judgment card. So that's nice. Now, and this is what your minors look like. You get a full page for each minor. High vibe, low vibe. It gives you the write-up for your high vibe. And then if you pull low vibe. Um, so yeah. Oh, there's some really cool spreads, it looks like. Some, oh, that is my cat. I don't know if you guys can hear that. That's my cat trying to climb my door. He's hanging from the curtains on my door. I don't even know how he jumped that high. <laughs> I'm out on my front porch. Um, but yeah, so we get, we get some spreads here. Um, which is cool. Um, yeah, so this is our book. Looks like there's a decent amount of information. Um, and if you're not familiar with Rachel True, she is actually the actress, um, or one of the actresses from The Craft. Um, so if you're like me and you're a 90s girl um, or boy or, you know, no gender required and you were obsessed with the craft, um, Rachel True was in the craft. Um, so they are packaged split deck and they also have more plastic wrap on them. So bear with me while I get that off. Okay, so I got the plastic wrap off. Here we can see the backs of the cards. I'm going to flip them over so we can do a full walkthrough. Okay, so here we have the Fool, which is that beautiful box image. Um, and I love the fact that like her dress is part of the clouds and all that. I think it's really pretty. And our magician. Ooh, I will say, oh no, never mind. Just kidding, just kidding. I thought there was a, a corner that was peeled but it's actually just the design on the back it's that sword here's our high priestess oh she's pretty cool she's got her third eye there um sorry i'm going to try to keep these straight i always <laughs> i go back and forth between looking at the camera and the cards on the table and it never fails that they're not straight here's our empress she's beautiful look at all the mushrooms down by her feet i love that Our emperor with his nod to Aries with his ram's heads. I love his cloak has like a cityscape on it is really cool. Our hierophant. It almost looks like a bed behind him. Isn't that interesting? I don't know. Am I just miss seeing that? It definitely looks like a bed to me. <laughs> I love the backgrounds though. I love the cloud backgrounds are, are beautiful. There's our lovers. The nice thing about this deck, I have seen um, more than a few images because admittedly I follow Rachel True on Instagram. Um, so I knew that this was gonna be a more diverse deck. Um, I really think she set out to make it a more diverse deck intentionally, which is great. Um, so yeah, we're going to be seeing all kinds of people. 
There's the hermit. Oh, and if you look at the hermit, there's also mushrooms popping up at her feet as well. I think that's really cool. Her wheel. Justice. I love the moon and the sun in her scales. It's really neat. The hanged man. Oh, I love the root work coming from his crown chakra, all that light is really cool. Oop, I'm grabbing more than one card. Ooh. The death card is always one of my favorite cards to get to in a deck because I always like to see how it's depicted. Um, mm -hmm. I like, I like that, you know, she's kind of mirroring what death is doing and who talks to the painfulness of kind of splitting yourself wide open to accept those endings and to deal with the feelings and the emotions that come up and all that good stuff. It's interesting. Here's temperance. Our devil. I like it. The devil's third eye as well. Ooh, the tower. I love the darker cards. I don't know if anyone else is like that. I always like to see what the darker cards look like. Here's the star. She's beautiful. I love that she has like these vines kind of wrapping up her one leg. Ooh, moon with lots of sacred geometry going on. It's really cool. Oops, oops. Oh, the sun as well. Oh, I like that these sunbeams, like the rays here, turn into hands is really neat. I don't know if you can see that. Judgment. She kept kind of a traditional vibe with most of these. Ooh, look at her. She is beautiful. The world. She's got all the elements tattooed on her arm there. It's really neat. Okay. Oh, how pretty. I don't know if I've seen any of the miners from this deck, so... These are all going to be new to my eyeballs. Two of Cups. These are so pretty. The color palette in this is gorgeous. Like these soft pastels. Ooh, this is interesting, right? Oh, and he's kind of like putting the cup over that rose. I like that. That's an interesting take. And five of Cups. Lots of eyes in this deck. Kind of reminds me of the Tarot del Fuego. Obviously very different art style, but with the amount of eyeballs we have seen so far. Our Six of Cups. Seven. Again, traditional, but just a different take on the artwork. I like it. Ooh. Eight of Cups. He's going up into... Kind of the universe. That's really neat. Ascension. I mean, in like the true sense, right? <laughs> Ooh, she's fabulous. Nine of Cups. Again, I love the colors in this deck. I think it's really bright. I think it's really pretty. Here's our Ten of Cups. Lots of mandalas in the cups here. Oh, we have Princess for our pages. Oop, oop, oop. Prince for our knights. Oh, look at the squid tentacles coming up. That's cool. Queen. And King. Oh, he's got a squid tentacle wrapped around his leg. I love, I love these like borders on the aces too are really beautiful. Oh, how cute are they? They're all sharing a piece of a pentacle there. You got like the moth in the background. And I love how this field is kind of barren. It's just grass, but you see like in his tent, he has all of the flowers and, and all of the beauty to himself is interesting. Ooh, 
That's an interesting take on the Five of Pentacles. Hmm. There's the six. Just kind of throwing them some flowers out the window. Her window in the sky. <laughs> oh, again, another interesting take. I love when we um, have like pregnancy cards with the seven of pentacles. Um, I know that doesn't, that imagery may not speak to everyone, but um, as a mother, I feel like pregnancy is like the ultimate seven of pentacles energy is like that, that waiting that, okay, you know what? I just I have to be patient. I have to wait for when the time is right because, you know, nature works when nature works and we've kind of got to wait for everything to, to come to full term before we can, you know, get that satisfaction. So I do like that. Again, I know that doesn't speak to everyone, but here's our eight of discs. Well, this is kind of interesting because you have like this hooded figure here that's kind of like cloaked off. To me, like it almost speaks of like Yes, the eight of discs is about putting in that hard work and reaping the rewards from your hard work and, and, you know, a job well done. But it almost speaks to me of like, don't shut yourself off though and miss out on other aspects of life just to have that, um, material satisfaction. Like your, your work isn't everything. You need to open yourself up to the world around you as well. That's just me. But like, I, that's kind of what I get from that guy or girl. We don't know. We don't know who they are. Ooh, Nine of Discs, she beautiful. I love the use of flowers. Ooh, this is interesting with the 10. They have all these little gemstones underneath the foundation of, you know, their home of what they've built. I like it. Again, but with the peacocks, there's a sense of pride. There's a sense of you know, proud as a peacock is the saying, right? So you can kind of read into that and be like, hey, it's okay to be proud of what you've earned, but you know, I don't know. You finish that sentence. <laughs> it was a half form thought. Here's our princess. I love how earthy she is. Oh, she's great. Our prince. Riding, not a horse, but riding a bull. Ooh, I love the Queen of Pentacles. I love her headdress with all the flowers and branches kind of growing out of it. Ooh, and our king. He's got also branches and stuff coming out of his. I love it. I love, I love it. Ooh, look at those wands. Yeah, I'm really liking the color palette that she used for this deck. Again, we think of wands as like fire. You have like the phoenix there, but it's not like that. Sometimes wands are always like this bright, bright, bright red or dark, dark, dark red. She's kind of achieved that on a more muted palette. And I really, I really like that. I don't know. It's just a softer color palette. I mean, not always, because this is kind of a brighter card too. I don't know, I just, aesthetically, I think this deck is really beautiful. We have Medusa for the Five of Wands. Mm-mm-mm. Our Six of Wands look like a little bird with all their treasures in their nest. Ah, so cute. Ooh, that is a strong Seven of Wands. I feel like sometimes we get to the Seven of Wands and, and the character in the Seven of Wands sometimes seems a little frantic. Um, and it leads you kind of to wonder whether or not the threat is um, as serious as it's being perceived or if it's all in your head. Um, but this girl, she seems pretty confident. She seems pretty sure of her position and her defense. I don't question whether or not it's all in her head. I feel like she is very confident in facing whatever is coming her way. Eight of Wands. I like how the wands seem to be coming from his brain, specifically. Ooh, Nine of Wands. We have this progression. See, I kind of question whether I want to read it going this way or read it going this way. 
knowing the nine of wands energy i want to read it going that way but it almost seems the opposite no like we're moving from the nine of wands into the ten of wands into that burden um so i guess you could read that either way depending here's our ten of wands a very non-traditional ten of wands actually like a scarab here here's our princess Ooh, he's riding a phoenix. That's really cool. Ooh, I love her. <laughs> Is our king of wands breathing fire? It almost looks that way. I like it. And our swords. Ooh, that's really beautiful. I love the dark and the light and the choices of the swords. Here's our three of swords. Again, lots of eyes. This specifically reminds me of the Terra del Fuego. Again, very different art style, but with the eye. Our four of swords and meditation. I like how she's, you know, kind of more of a shadow. So it's, it's, easier well she seems to be more female but i guess you don't know that for sure but i was going to say it seems to be easier to kind of put yourself into that picture and say you know that is me or that you know that could be me Ooh, it's an interesting five of swords again with the more shadow figure and the six of swords although this is an interesting take on the six of swords rather than you know rowing the boat we have birds that are carrying her over the water seven of swords with the little foxes up there and they have their fingers crossed eight of swords wow that's really cool again actually the more i look at these figures they are kind of um androgynous in the sense that you really can't get a feel for their body type like yes this this figure has long hair but beyond that you really don't know again i think it's easier to kind of put yourself into the picture that way here's our nine of swords oh and look her brain is filled with like all the creepy crawlies and you know i think this kind of puts that definitive you know it's not real it's it's all in your head it's about getting past those deep-seated fears and realizing that there may not be any may not be any basis for them in reality I like that Ooh, she's another Medusa oh poor Medusa in all of Greek mythology I really feel for Medusa here's our princess of swords our prince of swords our queen and last but not least our king look at him he looks very confident he's got his sword you know down but in front of him so he's not you know he's not going to get aggressive unless he has to he realizes like he can defend himself with his words um i like that okay so that is the whole deck that is the true heart intuitive tarot I'm going to zoom out for a minute. Okay. So here's our deck. It's a, it's a good size. I'd say it's a little wider and a little shorter than a traditional deck. Give it a little bit of a shuffle. The cardstock is not the greatest. It's a little, um, thin for my liking. Um, and a little on like that cardboardy side. It's, it's not great. It's not the greatest, but let's give it a riffle shuffle. Just see how that goes. It's a good riffle shuffle deck because it is that thinner cardstock. Um, and I actually love the sides. I guess because of the, well, no, I don't know. The sides seem to have like their own pattern going on. Can you see that? Even though, like, there's no pattern on the cards, I guess, oh, you know what? It's the backing. It creates, like, this, this little pattern on the sides of the cards. I don't hate it. I actually might leave them 
that way and see how I feel about it as time goes on. Um, but yeah, so the cardstock itself is kind of like a semi gloss. It's not like the super glossy cardstock. It does have a little bit of texture to some of the cards, but not others. Like the back of this is pretty smooth, but the front has kind of a textured feel. Whereas the back of this particular card is textured, but the front is smooth. So don't know what happened there. There's kind of like a, can you hear that? There's like an inconsistency. You can hear it, but when I turn them over, like this one's a more smooth one. I don't know if you can hear that. <laughs> Just turned into AM ASMR already. I don't know. Now I'm being silly. Um, but yeah, so that is the True Heart Intuitive Tarot by Rachel True. Um, super excited to get my hands on this. I've been watching it for quite some time. Again, I think the official release is tomorrow, October 13th. Um, but I was able to grab mine at my local Barnes & Noble, so you might um, luck out if they've put them out already. Uh, thank you for hanging out with me. As always, if you like this video, please be sure to subscribe, hit the notification bell, um, like this video, give me a comment, thumbs up, which is the same as liking. Just do all the things. I love to hear from you. Um, and I just, you know, I love this community of tarot. I love hearing what everybody's thoughts are what they thought about the deck, what they liked about it, what they didn't like about it, what they found interesting. Let me hear from you. Anyway, guys, I love you all. Thanks for hanging out with me. Bye.